guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny, here. You're gonna hear a lot of noise in the background. I have my windows open and and they get super loud. But it's okay, because anything is better than my last apartment. I'm in a new apartment, I'm in a new space. I'm trying to get that old feeling back. Um, I've been working really hard on my filming situation and I'm not quite done with it. I've actually spoke to my building manager today. And I'm gonna make some adjustments to this closet so I can kind of film in here and it just looks really, really nice and all that stuff. I wanted to go ahead and jump right into my favorites because I have a lot of products here. I haven't done favorites in a long time. I might be gonna say what month favorite video this is supposed to be because I probably haven't done a favorite video since like 1958. I wanna jump right in. And I think I may have used this in my last video and I did a full face foundation video. I love Derma Blend Primer, as you can hear all the cars um, start up. I love Derma Blend Primer. Well, I love Derma. Budge! I love Derma Blend Primer. I love Derma Blend, period. For some reason, I can't say Derma Blend. There we go again. A lot of the products on this list are going to be from Derma Blend. Okay, they have. Let me go close these windows because this is getting crazy. You're going to ice cream, man! Okay, so I close the window, but I have a feeling that all types of madness is about to ensue. It's Friday, okay? I live in the hood in Southern California, and it is about to get cracking out this piece. Um, so back to my Derma Blend Primer. I really love this primer. It's a really, really light green, so if you do suffer from redness or anything like that, it's gonna um, it's going to help that situation. I'm talking all fast. It's like when you stop making videos for a while and then you start back, you're like acting stupid like me. Okay, so one thing I do like about this is it has salicylic acid in it, so if you do suffer from breakouts or if you're trying to keep yourself from suffering from breakouts, this is going to be a really good um, choice. This is a little bit more of a pricey primer, but it is so good. A little bit goes a long way, and it's just a good one. Okay, so this is a Derma Blend foundation, and the color I have is Soft Mahogany. Now, I absolutely, positively love using this foundation as a concealer. It's creamy. It is stupid pigments it is so pigmented if you have tattoos if you have birthmarks if you have under eye circles if you just like to have a beat face if you're in theater if you're new to makeup and you don't want to fool with a whole bunch of concealers and color correctors and all these different things this is going to be the foundation for you one thing i will say is foundation that is high in coverage over an area that needs to be color corrected will look good at first but once those colors start to blend you're going to be able to see that you have a gray area um that's really really evident with around the mouth makeup every now and again you'll see makeup on somebody and whether it be in this area or around the mouth or blemishes sometimes it doesn't work out but this is really really great and pigmented and it's one of the foundations that i like and you can use a little bit less of a color corrector on it if you don't know what color correctors are I will have a link in the bottom bar. Um, I will also, I also have a color corrector favorite on this list. I can't talk. So two other products that I got from Derma Blend that I absolutely love are actually concealers. And the two colors that I have are Quick, Quick Fix in Brown and in Bronze. And they're very similar in tone. Um, one's a little bit more warm, one's a little bit more cool. This one here in bronze is a little bit more cool. I use this as an under eye uh, concealer. I also use this as a highlighter. Now for the bronze one is a little bit more toward my skin tone, except for maybe it's a tad lighter than my skin tone. And I love to use this in the center of my face to really just brighten up my face if I'm not looking for the super brightening effect. Let me make sure it's still recording because I'll be so upset. Okay. Uh, my next products I'm going to show, I'm going to show you something that's actually in the wrong packaging. Now this looks, I know this looks like a CoverGirl foundation, but it's not a CoverGirl foundation. It's Lancome Tant Idol Ultra. Now I was traveling and I broke that bottle, which is why I really don't like glass foundation bottles, but you know, the higher end foundations, they usually just put their stuff in glass. It's a lot more chic, it's a little bit more sophisticated looking. Well, that shit broke. Okay, and now it's in a <laughs> CoverGirl foundation bottle. I absolutely love it. I have it on my face right now. I wear it all the time. I get compliments all the time. I love this foundation. Love it. If you're oily to combination skin, it's going to be a great foundation for you to try. Another kind of foundation and product that I have here is the Smashbox BB Cream. This is the camera ready. I absolutely love this. I have a review and a video. I will put my blog post as well as my video in the bottom bar so you can go ahead and check that out. 
I love this for days that I'm not trying to wear a lot of makeup, but I do want to protect my skin and correct some imperfections. This has an SPF of 35. Um, it has a medium coverage with some concealer. It looks even better. It's just a really great light tinted moisturizer type of feel. A lot of people get so caught up with what is the BB cream and do I need a BB cream and BB cream, BB It's like a tinted moisturizer and it has a little bit more vitamins and nutrients in it. If you don't have one and you want one and you can find one, get one. If you don't have one and you want one and you're killing yourself for it, stop it. Because it's not that serious. But it is a great product, obviously, or it wouldn't be on my favorites list. Something that I'm getting back into is my cat eyeliner. It used to be a signature of mine in my personal life, not here in YouTube, but I used to always wear cat eyeliner. And um, I have two here that I absolutely love, and they're both from Milani. Okay, so one is the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in Black Gems. And I like this, number one, because it has a, a sturdy brush. And it has really, really pretty sparkles in it. And I absolutely love it. I think it's really pretty. And if you're going somewhere and you want to wear really simple makeup, but you kind of want that wow factor, if you're going to be in like a candlelit situation, this eyeliner is so pretty. So if you don't like a lot of eye contact, if you don't like people kind of gazing into your eyes because there's like little sparkles going on behind your eyelashes, then don't wear that because that's going to get people all up in your face and it may make you a little uncomfortable if you get a little, a little bashful around the guys. Um, the next one is new actually and it's their Eye Tech Mini and this is their liquid eyeliner and I actually have both of these on right now. I love them both because they're both more of a matte than that shiny eyeliner. I hate the shinier eyeliner. When they dry they look like they're going to peel. I just really love a matte black liner. This one is awesome. It has a little tiny brush head. I will do a close up so you can see. It has a sturdy um, sturdy brush head even though it's tiny and it's just a really good eyeliner. Okay so I posted a video of this face of makeup on Instagram and a lot of you guys were like wow your skin is glowing, your skin looks amazing and I absolutely know when I want to get that amazing looking skin that I have to pull out my ID Bare Minerals. These are called Flawless Radiance, but they're not called Flawless Radiance. This one's called Flawless Radiance. And this one is called Warm Radiant. And as you can see, I have it on my cheekbone and down my nose and underneath my eyebrows and everywhere that needs to be high lit. You know, let your sun, let the sun really, really reel in that beauty. Um, these are really helped. Don't know where I was going with that. But this one's more of a warm color and this one's more of a, a white champagne gold color. We'll have close up so you can check those out. I've had those for a while, but I did like shop my stash and found out that I have so many products that I don't even use. Maybe I've used them once or twice. I love them, I rant about them, I rave about them, then I stick them in a drawer and I never see them again. And then I wanna go buy more stuff where I feel like I need to go check out the drugstore and see what else is going on. No. I have so much stuff that I've been finding as I've been moving. We have been absolutely loving the body butter from Shea Moisture. If you use anything from Shea Moisture, you know that their stuff is the bomb. From hair to body to skincare, I really like their stuff. Um, for my hair, my little bit of edges that you see here, I actually mix this with my hair treatment. Um, and if you don't know what hair treatment I'm talking about, I actually will have a little bit of a video down below. I use this to keep my hair laying flat. I tie it and then, um, yeah, I just put a little cute scarf on top because I really can't do a lot with my hair these days. Um, I do have one scent that I've absolutely been loving and I got this from copycatfragrances.com and this is Chanel Chance, Chance and it's an oil and it smells absolutely wonderful. It lasts all day and if you're a fan of Chanel Chance then you know that it just smells really good. Okay, um, I'm trying to go fast because I see that I've been talking for a really long time, but I've been really missing you guys. Um, another product that I have from Dermablend, I've been talking about this for years, is their awesome setting powder. When I was working for uh, Vichy, Aven, Lirac, um, La Roche-Posay, I was a higher-end skincare consultant. So, you know, I used to spit that knowledge about skincare. I'm going to get back on that because I have something great to show you guys that I've been using and loving. Anyway, uh, our brand used to sell this, um, Vichy. Vichy has a line of Dermablend foundation and I used to love this powder. I still love this powder. It's one of the best setting powders out there. It's just like any setting powder you've seen except for it works a lot better. 16 hour, puff it up there, let it sit for 5 minutes brush it away lightly and your makeup will go nowhere, your eyebrows will go nowhere, your lipstick will go nowhere. Even if you're going nowhere. Um, as for my eyebrows, I've been absolutely loving my Benefit Browsing 
in dark and I also use this to contour my face where you see the darker area make my face look pulled and snatched I love this for my brows and my cheeks um, it's a great great matte dark brown powder and I use that for the size of my cheeks it is a brown wax I use for my brows you guys know how that works I also have I also have a few lip products that I absolutely have been loving and they're all from the same company and I just dropped one so I'm gonna group them together um, Milani Teddy Bear absolutely beautiful it's like a cool nude it looks really really great somebody asked me if I had that on my lips today um, which I don't but I have on a similar color in a way um, Uptown Mauve I absolutely positively love it's a beautiful color great for any season but especially for fall because it's a little bit more of a deeper tone and then I have Raspberry Rush and Violet Vault which are really really pretty bright tones that are not too bright if you are lighter skinned and you want to wear a purple that violet vault is going to be beautiful on you because it's more of a warm tone purple the first one is plum rose and i really love it because it's like a pinky it's like a purple I'm gonna go ahead and and swatch it um it's just really really pretty and it actually looks more pink than brown but it is a little bit of a brownish tone if your lips are a little bit more pigmented and you're near my tone then you know what i'm talking about Okay, so I've absolutely been loving the Giordana Twist and Shine Lip Balms or Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. And I love this color in particular because it's kind of like the My Lips But Better um, type of shade. And this is called Honey Love. I have so many lip products um, from Giordana, Milani to um, NYC that have wonderful My Lip But Better shades and also have wonderful nude shades for darker skinned women. And then from NYC, I'm absolutely loving their Bold NYC Plumping Lip Glosses. And this one is, I want to say, in New York City. I absolutely love this one with either a purple or a brown lip liner. You're good to go. Um, for a purple lip liner that I've absolutely been loving, this is from Prestige and this is called Eggplant. This is great with any of the purple lipsticks I wear. It also looks great with nudes and it also looks great with red lipsticks. On Instagram, I asked you guys if you guys could guess any of the favorites that would be on my list. And rightfully so, somebody definitely guessed the MAC Camouflage Palette or the MAC Pro Conceal Palette. And she guessed the orange color corrector and you're very right because this is one of the products that comes in handy all over your face all over your body for many people of many different skin tones and I need to use it every day because I need it for my under eyes I need it for around my mouth area um, when I'm really showing a lot of skin I like to put a little bit right here just because in this crook of my neck it's a little dark and I always say it's from when I was a little bit younger and I want to be all super cute I put mad oil right here and be like super hot out it's like where are you going you smell great and your neck is glistening but I don't get it you just go through things when you're young. But I love this. I love this. It's one of the best products that I've ever purchased from MAC. Um, and I definitely will be repurchasing. I actually use every single one of these colors. I use these for highlight and these for like subtle brow highlights and subtle center of my face highlights. Um, down the bridge of my nose, I miss this peach and yellow sometimes when I'm working on somebody that's a little bit lighter complected. Even sometimes when I want a little bit of a lighter highlight, I may mix the peach and the yellow together. Gives a wonderful effect. Um, I'm trying to make sure I haven't forgotten anything because I have so many products here, honestly. I love these. Sonia Kashuk. Sonia Kashuk brushes um, are one of my favorite brush companies. Sonia Kashuk. Uh, I love some of the Sigma brushes. Of course, the Samantha Chapman brushes and just everything that's so typical on YouTube right now. Though I am looking for some new things to try out. So if you guys have any suggestions, if you have a company and you'd like me to try your products, all my information is below. If you'd like to make a suggestion, and you can make one below in my comment area as always. I, I probably have to do another one of these videos. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, oh, where is this product and where is that product? And I have things down here that I haven't even showed you, like this Milani blush in Luminoso, which which I love also for a cheek highlight um, I have this blush this is red vino is this right? yeah this is red vino and it's a Milani blush and it is fabulous for women just starting out in makeup or people who want to keep it safe I have so many things and I feel phenomenal and it's because a lot of you guys out there you who support me I love you and I appreciate your support so much and you know what's real when I say I love you because I don't like using the I love you words because number one love is a very 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 strong word number two it's just like I have commitment issues y'all but I'm gonna get out of here on that note 
as always, I want to thank you guys so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully I'll do the same. And if you want to keep super duper in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and those are all at Destiny Godly. All right, guys? Bye.